Trying to view your model railway on a laptop this size is no joke. So we're going from this to this, but by using a not so smart TV. Hi, welcome back to Chadwick Model Railway. I'm Charlie. And in this short video known as a Swift, what me and my good friend Richard are gonna do <laughs> is get rid of this laptop and install a big TV instead. But of course the big drawback is taking down this shelf, the Chadwick Parkway sign and somehow stowing all these spare buildings while we do it. Still, nothing like a little challenge. I never realised it would be so dusty. Oh, poor butterfly. <laughs> Stay. Okay. okay. Now sadly I made the mistake of going to Curry's PC World for the bracket and I think this bracket was £71.99. However, I've just found it on Amazon for £18.99 and as usual there'll be a link in the show more tab. Spot the bargain. Now the brackets go on the back of the telly and some TVs come with the nuts, with the bolts, uh, pre-installed. However, comma space bar, not mine. So I nipped down to tool station and bought some M6 bolts and then hopefully these M6 bolts will secure into here. I can't lie, I bought various packets of M6 bolts of various lengths, but I think that the 12 millimetre ones are good to go. And there's 10 in a packet, and they cost something like about £1.20, easy. There was a cardboard template, wasn't there? Got it? Right, so if we, if we go for the lower hole, does that make sense? Yeah. There, to there, is the lower level of the bracket. Does that make sense? Yeah, because that. Right. The wall is made of thermalite block. So are we, are we dead sure that that's straight? with the outside ones, yeah. and then, I'm not too sure about, yeah, so they're good, aren't they? So you've got another four. What do you think? Something like that? Yeah. And then we're just making it up really, aren't we? Yeah. That's done. So we've masked that bit off there, as you can see, with a bit of black hessian to stop any of the dust going on that back scene. The back scene is the thing we can't replace. If we broke a bit of track it wouldn't really matter, but the back scene is invaluable. Right, drill. So this is going to take us right through into the cavity, isn't it? Is it? Oh, well, yeah, I, mean, I don't know how thick your blocks will look on. I, don't, I can't remember. That'll be the cavity then. And that was a 10 mil drill, wasn't it?
There's come magnets up there as well. Got them? Yeah. Okay. I have gentle on the paintwork. Which is rather useful, really. Yeah, I see that. Is it a good crack? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, the brackets on the back of the TV clip onto the bracket on the wall, but there's a little bit of cord at the bottom, and, and if Richard pulls the cord, you can see that one going up and down, and the other one, and that's the release mechanism to get them uh, back off the wall. You need to hang it on the top hooks first, and then obviously when you clip it in, the bottom one should make contact and hold it into place, he said, hopefully. I think this bracket, no, just, hang it, just hang it on Charlie. And... The only way around it is to literally move the, the wall bracket. Right. Yeah, see mine's too high now, see, my end. What was it, too low before? Too low before. I moved it by one hole. So the choice is, is to redraw the bracket yeah. and move it. Right. So we just, let's just push it against the wall. Let's push this TV in, okay? Right. We happy with that? Yeah. Right. Good. Now let's measure it. Yeah. And we'll take the bracket up. Yeah. So it doesn't look, it's not much in it. No, it's nothing, if you're filming it's enough notice. Yeah, you look back here, you can see the scenery. This side's slightly higher than the other side. Well that's in, that's it in, so I think the best thing to do now is test it. Laptop. That's the Sony coming online. Uh, HDMI cable. HDMI one. Stand there so they can't see my passwords. <laughs> <laughs> How's this work there? Ah, input HDMI one. Like that? Yeah. But it's never as easy as you think it's going to be. <laughs> right. What's that, half past 12? Right, tidy up, lunch, come back. Yep. Stay with us, don't go away. I've got one for you to do, if you don't mind. The uh, far corner one. I, I can't, I can't reach that one. The back one should be longer, but uh, yeah, they are. There we go. You're in. Right. Wonderful. Now we're lunch. So here we are, all finished. And to be perfectly honest, it seems pretty good. I did cut back these shelves at 45 degrees so that you can view the screen from an angle, i.e. the sort of corners of the, of the layout, so this wouldn't interfere with the screen, but it looks pretty good. The feed from this steam-powered laptop is by HDMI into the TV, and when I said it's not such a smart TV, 
Um, yeah, it does struggle with the internet and with channels and with tuning, hence it came out of the uh, sitting room into here. But it seems to be just the job, especially if you're into, you want to view train controller or I train or perhaps any rail, or you might just want to watch a, a video for some obscure reason. I'm not too sure if this chap knows what he's talking about, really. Um, within the packet, there were a set of, well, a bandolier of various size bolts, and I didn't realise this before I bought it, hence I went down to Tall Station and bought those, I think it was M6 bolts. Be careful if you're going to do that, that the bolts aren't too long, because if they go straight through into, your, in, through into the TV, then they could actually come straight through the screen of the telly if there's nothing to stop them. Of course, you can't see that because you can't see what's inside your telly. So just be careful on the length of bolts. But it all seems um, pretty good. Would I trust this bracket in my house if I had kids? I probably wouldn't because um, it is reasonably secure, but, you know, I'm not too sure whether you could rip it off the wall, but, um, you know, it's just a bit of caution really. Um, it is £18.99 on Amazon, so it is relatively cheap. It's definitely good and secure, but I'm never too sure how those spring-loaded clips on the bottom would hold if you give it a damn good tug. But it is what it is, and it's, very, it's going to be very useful for me with train controller and all that sort of stuff. Now last week's video was the mistakes video, and I missed out one certain clip, and there'll be a link to that here shortly. It is absolutely hilarious. Please, please watch this video. It's honestly, it is such a rib tickler. That wraps this one up. There is the button if you want to become a patron or there's a PayPal button in the show more tab. Um, there's the button to become a subscriber and the video here and the funny one here. See you next week. Take care. Bye bye.